Hello, dear wonderful friends. Welcome back here at Larnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Today, I would love to share with you on how to make very easy and simple dish. So, come, please join with me as I'm going to share with you on how to make our lunch today. <laughs> so, I added approximately five tablespoons of canola oil. There you go, canola oil. You can use whatever oil you have available for your sauté ingredient. What are the very basic ingredients that we have? So I have here my red cooking onions, my chopped garlic, my nice uh, firm Roma tomatoes, and red pepper bell. Now towards the end, I'm going to garnish that with green onions. I have here my green peas and uh, shredded cabbage, green cabbage. I have here my carrots and my uh, julienne slices of celery. So both carrots and celery, I slice that into julienne slices or slant slices. I have here my extra grounded uh, lean chicken. So this will be our meat product for today this will serve as our protein for my savory enhancer i have here seasoning salt which is uh, a salt and some other spices combined and i'll be using black pepper and mushroom seasoning if you don't have mushroom seasoning simply go whatever uh, you have available in your pantry that seasoning ingredient that you have so whatever makes you happy okay there you go let's start sauteing our uh, red onions remember friends that cooking and baking they're always make fun and easy here at my little kitchen i love to share the way I cook food for my family and for my friends, it gives you the idea on what to prepare for your family's next meal. Okay, there you go. After that, wonderful friends, I'm going to add my chopped or pressed garlic. Sautéing doesn't really take that long in the process of doing it. Simply uh, make sure that you're on low-medium fire. Okay, there you go. I'll be adding both red pepper bell or atzal and the kamatis, which is the tomatoes. Here at my little kitchen, I love to share my simple ways of doing or cooking or baking. Uh, some of my foods here and it helps you or gives you the idea on what to prepare for your family's next meal. Sharing is caring for me. I believe that food has to be shared so my simple recipes are. This is for fun sharing and learning. Okay, there you go. After which, I am going to add my one pound of uh, chicken, lean grounded chicken meat. I am going to add some black pepper. Adding salt and black pepper, it depends upon your taste buds. So that's our black pepper and a combination of seasoning salt. You can always purchase this from any grocery stores nearby <laughs> or at your favorite supermarket. You can also use whatever meat preferences you want to use. You can even use tofu or tokwa. And this, uh, the to tofu or any protein of your choice. <laughs> so when you use tofu, that means to say you are 
cooking vegetarian dish. So we'll keep on stirring or mixing until this is well mixed or well combined together with the wheel pad and infused spices. So we will make sure that our meat is properly cooked. Okay, wonderful friends, I'm going to add some mushroom seasoning. There you go. You can use chicken powder broth. I do not really need to add some water because it will produce its own uh, sauce or juice from the spices itself. Okay, depending upon your heat or your flame. So this will take, I put my flame into medium. So it will take seven minutes in the process of cooking our meat. I want to make sure that my meat is fully cooked. If you want, you can add probably three tablespoons of toyo or soy sauce. That is very, very optional because adding spices and the infusion of the spices, it is flavorful already. Okay, wonderful friends, after which I am going to add my julienne slices of both carrots and celery all together wonderfully and also my green peas. Now the green peas that's frozen, but I let it run into cold water. So cook this for approximately two minutes. So cooking this, I don't really need to uh, cover with my lid. This is just perfectly fine. So cook this for two minutes and set this aside. Okay, beautiful. Then after which I'm going to add my shredded green cabbage. There you go. So that's ha half of the entire cabbage. So that's approximately one pound in total or half a kilo of cabbage. You can add some more of your vegetables of your choice, let's say broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, or green peas, or whatever, or snap peas. Then I, after that, I'm going to add my, or garnish it with my green onions. Cook this for one minute. I want my veggies not to be overly done, so this is it. So once again, wonderful friends, thank you once again for watching La Arne's Kitchen and Food Creations. Stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen. So my priority for today is I have to make sure that I have my rice. So this rice is good to go. That's ready. And in five minutes we are going to have our lunch and this will serve us my husband's uh, food for his supper to work today okay have fun and may the lord, good lord will bless each one of you and all your family members including mine okay daghan kay salamat manood ko na ta so lami kay ni i hope na magluto po mo mga beshies mga friendship ha so magkita-kita na po sa sunod nga mga panahon diri sa akong gamay nga kusina i love you everyone say hello to all of you and have a pleasant day this is your home cook body laini saying you until the next time I'll have to turn off my flame, voila.